Hello, my beautiful angel bellas. Happy Valentine's Day. Or should I say happy belated Valentine's Day? But it doesn't matter. We should celebrate love every single day. So I thought I'd take you on my day in Busan for Valentine's Day. <laughs> first things first, I woke up late, so confused. So I just took a shower to try to wake myself up. You know how it is. Brushed my teeth, I had to double check because I've accidentally put hand lotion on before. Yeah, it's happened. Do a little scrub a dub dub. Don't forget the cracks before you have your solo concert in your shower to hype you up for your day. I swear it works. Now I just really need a coffee to actually wake up a little bit more. Do -do 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 -do, but no, my milk is expired. But wait, what's that? Coffee? Is that is that coffee? I grab my coffee mug. I know a little fancy, but it's a special day. I've never had my coffee bubble up like this, so let's try it out. But first, a gentle reminder. If you're searching for the one person that will change your life, take a look in the mirror. It's you. You're amazing, and do not forget it. So cheers to you. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope the start of the new year has been good to you. I'm only wishing you all the best. So now it's time to get ready. I have to deal with this mane, figure out my face situations. If you know, you know. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Even though I'm putting all this hairspray in, I promise you it's going to be flat so soon because it's so heavy. But you know what? I'll enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> Let's switch up the pace a little bit. So I believe on Valentine's Day, the only thing you need are nudes. No, don't be nasty. I mean noodles. I've been craving ramen, so let's go find some. Also, a fun little quick fact about Korea, Valentine's Day is when the girlfriend gets a boyfriend a gift. But don't you worry, next month we have White Day when the boyfriend gets a girlfriend a gift. But the best one is in April, which is Black Day, is when all the singles go out, dress in black, and eat jajangmyeon, any kind of food that's black. How amazing. So I found this restaurant, this ramen restaurant, and I'm so sad because it's closed. No. It's close to the 15th, I don't know why. So let's go find something else to do. Let's go some find something else to eat. But I first decided to make a quick coffee stop. 10% coffee is so good. If you haven't been here, I highly recommend it. The quality of the coffee definitely makes up the fact it's a bit more expensive. I got their cold brew, so gush. The weather was kind of muggy and my coat was so heavy, so I was sweating. I was happy with my iced coffee. As I was walking by, there was this restaurant with eel, fresh fish. So at this restaurant, what you could do is order your food. They come out and they get your fish, your seafood, whatever, fresh. Your food is so fresh. They even have baby octopus, as you can see in the corner. The workers would put their hand in and the octopus hold on. They also have abalone. I've never had this back home, but it kind of tastes like a harder clam situation, which made me hungry. So I tried to go to the grocery store. Of course, my luck. Another thing is closed. Every other Sunday, the bigger grocery stores are closed. I could go to like a smaller one, but the meat selections are not the best. So I went around and found this place, beef and pork. Oh my gosh, it was heaven for me. This variety of meat was astounding. Fresh bulgogi. They even have this little section of different sauces, rice cakes, eggs, tofu, some small vegetables, radishes, lettuce. Anything that you'd find at a Korean barbecue shop, they have there at your convenience. All these meats, I don't know how I'm going to choose, but I ended up getting some pork belly. And you know you're adulting when you pick a package that's literally like a dollar cheaper. 12,610 won, let's go. Mission accomplished, got the meat, and it's time to teleport home. <laughs> Let's take a moment and just appreciate my outfit. Sticky. My little panda shirt. Love it. And like I told you, my hair did slowly deflate. But I mean, it's still bouncy. It's still cute. <laughs> but the coffee's done. No. But you know what that means. <laughs> and you cannot believe what happened. My jeans split. Literally, when I was trying to bend down. I don't know if it's the rice I've been eating. But American Eagle is lasting me eight years. I can't be mad. So making pork belly is super simple. I'm just gonna fry it up. I'm kind of lazy right now and so hungry. So pork belly, like this. 
And in Korea, one of the underused utensils we have back home are scissors. Literally, you have your meat scissors and then you have your regular scissors. But here in Korea, you use it everywhere. Like at Korean barbecue, you will have scissors that come with you. It's great. And look how simple it is. You don't have to get a knife all dirty and hurt yourself. Eat, drink, and be merry. Yes, please. So this is the lettuce. It was only $1, 1,001. Usually you will take lettuce, put some rice, put some samjang, which is like this red sauce you have at Korean barbecue places and stuff. But I'm so hungry. So I'm just gonna put the meat and the lettuce and call it a day. Tea. So good. So good. <laughs> This meat is so delicious. I don't know if it's because I'm just getting used to it here, but my goodness. So now I need to decide if I want to go outside because I still haven't got my nudes. But of course the answer is yes. So, mission nudes commence. I went outside, it started raining, so I got my umbrella. Looking around for a taxi because I didn't want to take subways. Look at the cute little couple on Valentine's Day where I spotted this lonely little mister. I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just give him some flowers to make him happy for his day while I tie my shoes. And luckily this man was negative for Corona. So we became best friends and we went on an adventure to find nudes. When we transported to this restaurant, it was open. It was cute. It is this ramen little restaurant in the jump pool area. Look at it. I love open concept kitchens. I don't know why. It is really fun. So we got the spicy ramen, we got a bowl of rice, and we got the baseline regular ramen. So good, look at that. Some woodier mushrooms, some soft boiled egg, some of the delicious pork. There's a spicy one. You can smell the spice in the best way. And also, when we ordered the rice, I was expecting just a bowl of rice, but it had an egg, it had some veggies, and it had the meat. And these chicken tenders, let me tell you, so good. I was so hungry and so excited, so I just went right in. Making his voiceover, I'm literally drooling. I want some of this ramen again. Everyone say hi to Guan Yong. And oh, these noodles. I definitely want to learn how to make these noodles. So good. Time for the meat. The only thing is I wish I added more meat. I didn't know how much it came with, and it only came with the one and their egg. So amazing and silky and look at the gooey oh my god i don't know why i haven't been able to make um a hard-boiled egg like this i definitely need to learn i always end up like breaking it to pieces and the whites even fall apart i can't do eggs for some reason so we got everything saying that we're going to share both so i could taste the spicy and the regular and he just ate all the noodles so I just gave my noodles and put in the spicy bowl so I could have my spicy ramen. <laughs> and honestly, the spicy ramen was great. I wish there was a way to get a spicy ramen and a side of like a small regular ramen because it will balance it out so perfectly. I feel like just having the spicy ramen would have been a bit too much for me. Maybe I was craving too many things. Who knows? Who knows? I still can't figure out what this sauce is at all. I want to say it's some kind of a like garlicky sauce. And bam. <laughs> that was so delicious. Literally so happy I left my coziness to get ramen. At the end of your meal, they also gave you a 10% service card for the next time you come in. Score! Then we teleported to Baskin Robbins because we were both craving ice cream. In Korea, they have this simple contraption of just holding umbrellas. 
so you don't carry around your wet umbrella and getting the floor wet and slippery. Duh, smart. Look at all these cakes and look how cute these are. Oh my God, your cacao buddies, your little ice cream balls. And then you get these cakes that are different flavors and just so intricate, so beautiful. So, can you guess which one we got? Ah, pink soon! So, this little animal, oh, look how cute he is. I can't believe there's an ice cream cake for him. We decided to just get a full cake. Might as well, there's different flavors in here we could try. Getting a small little scoop, you know, you know. So apparently this cake also does not expire for over a year. What? What? Look at it! Look how cute! And in these boxes, it also comes with some dry ice to make sure your cake doesn't melt. How convenient, of course. And of course, another way that Korea is just superior. Little tabby things to bring out the cake so you're not like struggling. How smart. Also, most bakeries and places in Korea, when you order a full cake, they give you candles. Why not? They even come with matches. We were trying to put a candle in but I think it's full chocolate, so we put on the chin. The little chinny chin chin. <laughs> okay. We almost ate the plastic around it too because we thought it was part of the cake, like chocolate icing, but it wasn't. And as you can see, so the left, okay, wait, wait, vanilla, chocolate. The blue one is a like cotton candy, and then a strawberry. It's so good, and that's fully chocolate. Yum, cheers, bubbas. Here's some ice cream for you. I hope you guys are having delicious food. Now it's bedtime. I made myself some sleepy time tea. Gets me all cozy, and I'm just gonna have a relaxing night now. Say goodnight to Busan, everybody. Here's a better picture just so you can see the view of my little apartment here in Korea. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had a great day. I hope you have a great week ahead, and I'll see you later. Bye.